All right, I got here a 2009 Chrysler Town and Country. Um, it has a clear, you feel a misfire. And the car is shaking. Now there's a code, let me just do a quick scan. All right, so we got O2C sensor high, that's not gonna cause this. Um, AST main sense circuit, so that's the AST relay sends out power to the coils. Before I even look this up in service information, um, I just wanna check if there's any misfire counters on this, because this is clearly misfiring. So on Chrysler's, you gotta go down to OBD2 monitors, and there's something called which cylinder is misfiring. And right now it's showing there's nothing, but it's clearly misfiring. So I got a new toy. Let's go see how it works. This is the GTC 505. It looked really cool. I was playing around with it a little bit. All right, so this tool pretty much, it has like a scope and it's just for ignition. This shows amperage when I go over the coil. So there's a waveform which shows a current ramp of it. And I'm on the first coil. So this is a waste spark system. So it fires two at the same time. One on, one's on compression and one's on exhaust. That's why it's called waste because one's going with the waste. So this one, it's showing amperage. Now I don't know if it's reading the whole coil in general, but that clearly has a good current ramp. On this coil, it also looks good. Here it looks, I don't know, it looks shaky. So I don't know if it's a thing with the tool or not, but I'm gonna try a different tip. I have a tip here that goes onto the actual plug wire. I'm gonna just turn it around. And I'm gonna switch the mode to burn time. So we're gonna look here. Now I'm gonna put it on the first one. Let me just push clear. All right, so here we got our burn time. We'll go to the next one over here. We also have burn time. Next one has a good burn time. I'm just comparing to the Audemars now. You good? And this has a tiny job. This is clearly not working properly. So let me just make sure. Let's go through this again. This one's good. This one's good. That one just jumped up because I had moved it. But definitely has a burn time. I have to figure, play around with these settings, but it's definitely working. And this one almost has nothing. So right, I'm gonna create this. I'm gonna test my good old fashioned way with the test light. So let's shut this off. Now let me go shut the car. And I don't know if you look at the misfire counters, there's still absolutely nothing. All right, let me just now unplug this coil. We connect the test light to battery ground. Let me just make sure it's a good ground. All right, that's good. So I'm gonna disconnect this guy. Hold on, let me ask him. Can you start the engine? Oh, okay, it's just a bad coil. We have nothing here. I mean, if I touch it, we have a tiny spark, but we have nothing. Now, how do I know? Well, I guess since we touch it, it has spark, a little tiny spark. So it's definitely getting the command to turn on. But let me just check. Shut it off. Now, the way I'm going to verify it for sure that it has good control is... Wait, where's the wire go? Let me just plug this guy back in. Or, no, forget it. Let's just unplug this guy. Now, this is the same command for these two. It gives one and one fires on compression and one fires on exhaust. All right, start it up. All right, right there. See that? Wait, start it again. Right there. That's good spark right there. All right, shut it off. All right, so this just needs a coil. All right, thanks for watching.